All new here at 10, the back to school frustration at Port Nature's Groves grows. At tonight's school board meeting, parents spoke up about the district's decision to delay the start of school at the two primary campuses. Instead of excitement, Mary, many parents feel concerned about going back to school because the schools simply aren't finished, as you can see. Now, this, despite the ongoing construction, the district is planning to open a week from today. 12 News reporter Cameron Seibert joins us. And Cam, you went to the packed school board meeting tonight, and there are a lot of concerned parents and teachers. Yeah, Brenda, that's right. It got a little chippy tonight. Of course, safety of students is top of mind with this. Both Groves and Port Nietzsche's primary are still unfinished. I spoke with parents and teachers tonight. They have concerns about everything from construction equipment being in the hallways to a lack of air conditioning in certain areas. Many don't feel comfortable sending their kids back to school. At Port Natchez Groves, school starts in one week. But the final board meeting of the summer was not full of excitement. As of today, it has not passed fire and health inspections. To be honest, we feel like we were lied Concerned parents packed the room, questioning construction managers about the unfinished state of the new campuses. These are conversations that should have been had six months ago when y'all realized we're, we're behind, we're way behind. We do apologize, and we apologize to the board and to Dr. Gonzalez that we push for the dates, we promise the dates, and then they just don't happen. Teachers also spoke up. I don't trust anything they say, and I am far behind. Second grade is behind because we haven't had the proper air conditioning to be able to function. But forcing teachers to smile and say thank you for what they were currently enduring is cruel. Deidre Young kicked off the meeting. She has two students going to Groves Primary. Nowhere near a school that looked complete enough or safe enough or ready enough for students in less than a week. She took these pictures last week. There was one toilet that was functioning when we were there. There was no fire and safety. There's no gym. There's no cafeteria. There's no music. There's no library. There's no art. Of course it's going to be ready. Of course it's going to be ready. Of course it's going to be ready. And then it turns out it's not ready. I've got a, we've got a closed session. Two minutes. A closed session. we got a meeting. Board members declined to comment immediately after the meeting. As of tonight, construction managers are sticking to their timeline. It's a really difficult decision and something that should have been planned and talked about and prepared for months ago. Tonight, school board members said they're going off the word of those construction managers who did apologize tonight, but say they're still sticking to their August 21st start date, the first day of school a week from today. They say construction equipment will be stored out of the way during school hours, and they will continue construction after classes are done for the day. Cameron Seibert, 12 News.